Delegated signing allows the user to delegate their signature on envelopes that they receive while they uh, walk away. In this quick video, you'll learn how to set it up. But before I show you how, you'll want to understand the difference between signing groups and delegated signing. So delegated signing is slightly different from signing groups because signing groups is helpful when you want to authorize any member of a set group of users to sign the envelope sent to that group. However, signing groups is only available on enterprise level plans that start at 500 envelopes and therefore all more expensive. It's also important to know that you can only delegate signature authority to a user of the same DocuSign account when signing groups can include anyone, even if you don't have a DocuSign account. I've released a video on signing groups, which I've linked in the description of this video, so you might wanna check it out. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi, the founder of Solusan Consulting, where we help financial services companies automate sales and customer onboarding workflows using automation software. If your business could use some help with your DocuSign implementation or integration, you can book a strategy call with me using the link that you'll find in the description of this video. And if you're just starting with DocuSign and aren't sure how templates and power forms work, I recommend that you download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will show you how to get started with fields, recipients, and templates. You can download it using this link and you can also find it in the description of this video in case you've just missed it. But for now, let's just see how to set up delegated signing. Before you can delegate your signature authority to someone, the option must be turned on once in the uh, signing settings tab of your um, DocuSign settings, and that must be done by an admin. So let me show you that first. So from the homepage, you wanna go to the settings tab, then go to signing settings and look for delegation. I just want to make sure that this block is checked. Once this is set up, any user can delegate signing authority without having to ask an admin to turn on the option each time they need to turn it on, which is super handy. So once this option has been activated in DocuSign settings, the user need to go to the My Preferences tab just right here. From here, just go to Delegation and add a delegate. Here you need to specify a start date. So we're just going to say from today. You don't have to set up an end date. You can leave it just completely open. Here you'll have the list of all the people who are set up in your DocuSign account. Once you've set up who you want to delegate your signature authority to, just click on add and instantly that person will receive a notification letting them know that they have been granted access to your uh, signature rights. And from now on, they will also receive a notification each time an envelope becomes available. So each time an envelope was sent to the person who just delegated their signature authority, to the delegate. If you want to remove the delegate, just simply return to that menu and instead you just click on the drop down and remove. So I post DocuSign related video on a weekly basis. If you want to be notified of new features and better ways to use DocuSign, don't forget to hit subscribe and feel free to stay for another 10 seconds just to see what other videos YouTube wants you to watch next. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.